Welcome back to Sissy Maya. Here, we embrace true femininity. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to never miss an update. Growing up, I never imagined myself wearing a dress or putting on a pair of high heels. In fact, like most boys, I was taught to be tough, athletic and anything remotely feminine was frowned upon. So when I first met Emily, I never would have guessed that she would become the driving force behind my transformation into a crossdresser. Emily and I met in college. She was the complete opposite of me, bold, confident and unapologetically herself. She had a contagious energy that drew people towards her, and I was no exception. Our first encounter was at a campus event where she was performing a stand-up comedy routine. I was amazed at her witty jokes and her ability to command the crowd's attention. From that day on, we became inseparable. We had the same group of friends and spent most of our time together. But as our relationship grew, I couldn't help but notice Emily's fashion sense. She always looked effortlessly stylish, and her wardrobe was filled with vibrant colors and unique statement pieces. At first, I didn't think much of it. But as we spent more time together, she started to suggest that I try on some of her clothes. I was uncomfortable with the idea, but she insisted that it was just for fun. So one evening, with some liquid courage, I finally agreed. Emily handed me a red dress and a pair of sky-high stilettos. As I slipped into the dress and struggled with the heels, I couldn't help but feel a bit foolish. But then Emily's face lit up with excitement and she told me how beautiful I looked. It was the first time anyone had ever said that to me, and I couldn't believe it. We spent the rest of the night laughing and taking pictures as I embraced my newfound cross-dressing persona. As the weeks went on, Emily and I began experimenting more with cross-dressing. She would take me shopping for clothes and makeup, and we would spend hours getting ready for parties and events. I never thought I would enjoy it, but with Emily by my side, I felt confident and free. She taught me how to walk in heels, apply makeup and choose the perfect outfit. I was amazed at how much I enjoyed it all. But it wasn't just about the clothes and makeup. Emily opened my eyes to a whole new world of self-expression and self-discovery. Cross-dressing was more than just dressing up, it was about challenging gender norms and breaking free from societal expectations. I was never one for conformity, and cross-dressing allowed me to express myself in ways I never thought possible. Emily and I started going to drag shows together and even entered a few local competitions. We were always the most unlikely pair at these events, but we didn't care. We were having the time of our lives, and our relationship grew stronger with each passing day. But as much as I enjoyed cross-dressing, I couldn't help but feel a bit insecure about it. Growing up, I had been programmed to believe that being masculine and conforming to traditional gender roles were the only acceptable ways of being a man. Cross-dressing was seen as taboo and something to be ashamed of. So while I loved it, there was always a nagging voice in the back of my head telling me it was wrong. Things took a turn when Emily's parents came to visit us. They were traditional and conservative, and I was terrified of what they would think about me and my cross-dressing. I could feel Emily's nervousness as well, and it only made me more anxious. To my surprise, her parents were welcoming and warm towards me. But as we were having dinner, Emily's mom casually mentioned her brother who was openly gay. She said that her brother had struggled with his sexuality for a long time because of their father's strict expectations of masculinity. But now, he was living his life on his own terms, and her parents had accepted him for who he was. The conversation stuck with me, and I couldn't stop thinking about it long after Emily's parents had left. It dawned on me that the fear and insecurity I felt about cross-dressing were mostly rooted in internalized societal beliefs and expectations. It wasn't something to be ashamed of, it was a form of self-expression, just like her brother's sexuality. I felt a weight lift off my shoulders, and I knew that I had Emily to thank for that. 
Her presence in my life had allowed me to break free from the confines of societal expectations and embrace my true self. I was no longer ashamed of my cross-dressing, I was proud of it. But despite my newfound confidence, I still wasn't ready to come out to the world. While Emily and I had shared this incredible journey together, I wasn't sure how my friends and family would react. But as it often does, life had a way of pushing me out of my comfort zone. A few months into our newfound dynamic, we were invited to a costume party. I immediately knew what I wanted to dress up as, and Emily was more than happy to help me put together the perfect outfit. When we arrived at the party, I could feel everyone's eyes on me as I walked in wearing a flowy pink dress and a blonde wig. I was nervous and self-conscious, but Emily walked in by my side, and her confidence was infectious. To my surprise, everyone loved my outfit, and I even won the costume contest. They had no idea that this was more than just a costume to me, it was a part of who I was. But that night, I realized that it didn't matter what anyone else thought. Emily loved me for who I was, and that was all that mattered. From that point on, I no longer hid my cross-dressing from the world. I still faced some judgment and criticism from others, but it no longer affected me like it used to. I had found my true self, and nothing and no one could take that away from me.